yes you've searched the internet you've searched everywhere you even search on youtube and you see a lot of good good things about masturbation they tell you masturbation is very good it helps you relax your nerves it helps you it gives you good mood it makes you feel better it makes you to enjoy sex a lot of things comes about masturbation they also tell you that masturbation can help with prostate cancer and you are happy and excited masturbating but the fact is they don't tell you the dangerous side effect of frequent masturbation they don't tell you the uh, the side effect of addiction to masturbation good day everyone and welcome back to nurses lecture room youtube channel my name is miss mary popularly known as the nurse with the difference and i make learning easy and accessible for all my viewers today i'm going to be sharing with you 10 side effects of addiction to masturbation 10 side effects of addiction to masturbation and what you should do. But before we go into details into this class, if you are new on our YouTube channel, please click on the subscribe button, turn on the notification button so you don't miss out. For all our returning subscribers, this is not Miss Mary saying thank you. Let's go there. <laughs> Alright, welcome back. Like I earlier said, today I'm going to be sharing with you 10 side effects of masturbation. But before I go into details, first of all, for those that don't know, what is masturbation? There are some people that are doing masturbation, but they don't know a term. They don't know the term for that act or for that activity they are doing. So let's talk about masturbation. What is masturbation? Masturbation is simply stimulating your genitals by yourself, stimulating your genital areas by yourself to get that sexual arousal, to get orgasm. You are using your hands, you are using your fingers, you are using a lot of things to stimulate your genitals to get sexual orgasm. That is masturbation. In a simple term, you get, and also there's something I want you to know about masturbation. Masturbation does not occur alone. What do I mean by that? Masturbation needs something to occur. For example, masturbation needs your thoughts, masturbation needs your thinking. It needs your thoughts, it needs your thinking, it plays with your brain. So, for masturbation to occur, your thinking is involved. A pornography might be involved. Blue film might be involved. Pictures might be involved. Movies that you watch stimulate these actions of masturbation. So masturbation does not occur alone. For you to masturbate, you must have thought about someone. You must have thought about a particular scenario. You must have watched a movie. You must have watched some puns. You must have seen some pictures that stimulate that urge for masturbation to take place. So when masturbation takes place, a lot of things happen. Most people see masturbation. I saw it in the comment section. It said masturbation is like a junk food. It's a junk food. In the sense that you eat it. And after eating it, you wish you never, you've never tasted it. So masturbation is an act that when you are doing it, you are excited. When you want to do it, you are excited. But at the end, you are angry with yourself for doing it. So that's why masturbation is like a junk food so take note so i'm going to be sharing with you the side effect of masturbating thing the first i have to share with you is sore genitals sore genita when a man must or a woman masturbate frequently they use other toys they use their hands they use their fingers to get that sexual arousal when they use it to get a sexual, it can lead to sore genitals. Their genitals might be sore and that can even affect their sexual life. So frequent, daily, consistent masturbation can cause that genital areas to be sore, can cause pain around that genital area. Because when masturbating, you are trying to get to orgasm. You are trying to reach that sexual orgasm. You are trying to get that full satisfaction. So you are putting pressure. You are putting a lot of things to get that full satisfaction. And so when that occurs, that can lead to what sore genitals. Then the second effect is low sperm count. I know there are a lot of research surrounding this. 
some research says that it doesn't affect low sperm count but some other said it does not let me tell you something when you do it too much like frequently regularly so people are so addicted to it that they do this thing daily even twice a day when you do this daily it has an effect on your sperm count and if you are a man it's going to increase your it's going to cause low sperm counts for you it's going to cause what low um, sperm counts for you so that is the second point i have to share then he thought our redness and rash around that area redness and rash around that area you see people that masturbate they put a lot of pressure in it so that can make that area the genital area the penis the vaginal area red it can make it um it can cause rash around that area it can even lead to swelling edema around that area and that may require medical attention if care is not taken that may require medical attention if care is not is not taken so the other four number four points is social distancing most people that masturbate when they get addicted to it they tend to them separate themselves from the outside world because they like being alone they like staying alone they enjoy the satisfaction alone they their sexual life alone because when they are with people when they are addicted to it it comes to their mind and they want to leave out they want to leave the people outside and go inside and do their thing yeah so masturbator can affect your social life it can affect the way you relate to people it can affect the way you communicate with people so these are the side effects you should take note of masturbation addiction when you do it regularly when you do it consistently it affects your social life without you that is masturbating knowing it's affecting you then the fourth point i have to share with you is low self-esteem that's the fifth point sorry it's low self-esteem you may want to ask why how does it cost low self-esteem you see for those that are watching this video i believe you as an individual has masturbated and you are trying to know the consequences or something or you are trying to learn it masturbation causes low self-esteem in the sense that these people they are not happy with themselves they stigmatize themselves for doing most of them stigmatize themselves for masturbating they stigmatize themselves they have this anxiety they are depressed people are not stigmatizing them they are the ones stigmatizing themselves from doing it they are depressed they have this anxiety and that sometimes makes them feel bad about themselves they feel worthless they have this low reduced self-esteem so there's something about masturbation you get the pleasure at the beginning but at the end you may not be happy with yourself especially when you are addicted to it when you are addicted to it at the end you may not be happy with yourself then the sixth point i have to share with you is unfocused mindsets addiction is a very bad thing some research says that there is no no such thing like addiction to masturbation there is an addiction to masturbation for me there is some research says there is none some research says there is but there is an addiction to masturbation this is my own take on it and for those that are watching too so the unfocused mindset in the sense that when you are masturbating you lose focus you lose a lot of focus time that you're supposed to be at work time that you're supposed to be studying time that you're supposed to be using for something productive you are busy masturbating you are busy putting your energy your strength your zeal on masturbation i don't know if you understand what i'm trying to say so it gives you this unfocused mindset sometimes you don't want to go to work Sometimes you don't want to study. Sometimes you don't want to do your research work because you want to get that sexual satisfaction because your brain is playing with you. So when you are masturbating, you have this unfocused mindset. You are no longer focused because your mind is there. You can no longer concentrate. For example, you are reading, you are watching movie. The next thing, it comes to your mind. You are so unfocused. You cannot improve intellectually. So addiction to masturbation can lead to that. That's unfocused mindset. Then the seventh point I have to share here is that it impacts your sexual life. and impacts your sexual life. For people that are addicted to masturbation, their sexual life might be very, very poor. In the sense that they feel they get that full satisfaction, they reach orgasm when they satisfy themselves. So when they meet their partner, they 
they feel what's the need after all i can satisfy myself they feel no need to have sexual intercourse with their partner because they feel they can do it on their own instead of them to go out there get a partner instead of them to go out there get married they feel oh, what is the function of a woman it's not to have sex what's the function of a man is not to have sex i can do all this by myself i can get that orgasm myself and get this myself and that affects their social their sexual life with their partners their my husbands your wife it can when you are addicted to masturbation when you are addicted to masturbation it's going to affect your sexual life because you feel you get dissatisfaction by satisfying yourself and you always want more then the eighth point i have to share with you is can can result in premature ejaculation can result in premature ejaculation excessive um masturbation can cause damage to the nerves that are that allows for ejaculation when you are doing it excessively it can cause damage to the nerves that allows for masturbation then the other point i have to share with you is low testosterone it can lead to low testosterone production because you're always doing this thing every day you're always releasing every day two times in a day you are doing it it gets to give you this satisfaction you are people can be very, very addicted to it it's not something i'm talking about now because from the response i get from the comments i get from the feedback i get i've seen people it's not i'm not trying to lash someone they get addicted to it and now we're trying to bring them out of it you understand so it can actually lead to low testosterone level then also the last one i have to share with you it can cause nightfall problem nightfall problem like um ejaculating ejaculations asleep it can cause it so these are the 10 side effects of masturbation generally they said that there is something called healthy masturbation healthy what healthy masturbation but when it becomes worst when it becomes so frequent, when you are consistently doing it, it's going to cause a lot of problem to you. Trust me. Because like it's getting addicted to alcohol, getting addicted to drugs. Well, some school of thought says that there is no addiction to masturbation and masturbation is good. But when just for those that are watching the video that have been in that show, we understand better. So when you are addicted to it, it's going to affect your activity, it's going to affect you psychologically and emotionally it's going to affect your relationship with others it's going to affect your social life so too much of everything they say is bad so too much of masturbation it's bad and it is what it is dangerous to your health so you have to take note of it and walk towards it so if you want to get away with masturbation you can do some yoga exercise the yoga exercise helps you to maintain it helps you to stay stable so the yoga exercise can help you meditation can help you listening to music not music that will stimulate your sexual urge listening to music that will calm that sexual urge down rather than stimulating it then also joining music classes and um, uh, doing some exercises swimming doing things that will divert your attention from the main action doing things that will make you um that that will keep you focused that will keep you uh, like like that will keep you busy not being idle doing things that will keep you busy that will keep you active my likely going to help you reduce that masturbation and you see yourself when you reduce it when you stop it it's going to help you to be more productive it's going to be help you to be more benefit to be more useful in quotes sorry to use that it's going to help you to be more productive generally compared to the days that you get masturbated frequently daily twice a day all that so addiction to masturbation is not good for you addiction to masturbation is not good for your health so that is why i made this video because i've gotten a lot of questions in regards to it and i decided to make this video on it to enlighten you all so you know so forget the fact that it has they tell you it has a lot of benefits it also has some side effects that you should be aware aware of and also there's something masturbation does that makes them feel okay it's good it, when you masturbate as a lady or as a guy it helps to release some hormones that are responsible for happiness that are responsible for love hormones that makes you excited that makes you feel relaxed that makes you feel oh i'm okay it helps that is why they say it's good because it has a lot of things that has been released but take a look at the side effects and work towards it and also personally i don't support masturbation yeah 
personally i don't support masturbation i don't advise masturbation i don't advise it and i don't support it but this is me giving you a general clue of what masturbation it is and i hope it helps you understand that thank you very much for staying tuned thank you very much for watching this video don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with a friend if you got value see you in our next video bye